But I wanted to just say a few things, a uh, common cause that we have. And uh, that, that common cause is first, uh, we believe, in a sovereign America and in the rule of law. And if you look at the pillars of American exceptionalism, the components of why we are this great opportunity country, you can't be that without the rule of law. And if you allow it to be eroded by the President of the United States, primarily by his party, but not exclusively by his party, you see that opportunity in America uh, diminish and you watch America become a third world country. So there are many reasons for us to secure the border. Rule of law has always been enough for me, but when you add to that the things that are coming at us from across uh, the border, it would be 80 to 90 percent of the illegal drugs consumed in America, the unaccompanied alien juveniles that are coming in, that are, uh, that are coming at the, the ages, 83 percent of them, 15, 16, and 17 years old. Uh, prime gang recruitment age, 80 percent male, from the six, six of the most violent countries in the world are south of Mexico. That's a threat to us, but on top of that we've got ISIS that's been interdicted on our southern border. I talked to Congressman Duncan Hunter a few days ago about that particular piece of evidence and World Net Daily reported that there were another four ISIS, ten reported by Duncan Hunter, four reported by World Net Daily. That's ISIS seeking to come into the United States, threatening, threatening us, and we saw the beheadings in Oklahoma. Uh, we've seen the, shall I call it, the paralysis disease, D68, that seems to be in most, if not all, of our states. Happens to be the same places that the unaccompanied alien juveniles have been sent, the same states that they've been sent to. And on top of that, the biggest threat of all is Ebola. Can you guys just elaborate on the critique of just the absence of leadership in all these cru crucial times in America right now? Well, I've just, I've just watched that. I, I, I come to the word feckless, and it just... It's the most consistent adjective I use to describe our president. I mean, it is, it's irresponsible. And, uh, you know, what, what is his vision for this country? He must think now he's president of the world, that he's going to treat people in Africa as if they were American citizens, and somehow we can't, we can't define this American sovereignty or this American citizenship. I've watched as he's pitted people against each other down the lines of the divisions that are God-given characteristics. And, and so when, when I see that, and, I, and I'm looking for where we need to go as a country. I want to pull us all together under those principles that build America. That's freedom of speech, religion, the press, the right to keep and bear arms, whether it's to pick up a shotgun and shoot a pheasant or pick up a seven iron and discipline your husband. We need to, <laughs> I had to throw that in there. You're all thinking about golf.